Hi, Chris Wallace from Second Swing. We're in Orlando, Florida today at the 2018 PJ Merchandise Show. We're with Titleist this afternoon with Jeremy Stone talking new SM7 wedges. Now, Jeremy, you guys have been at the forefront of wedge fitting forever. Second Swing, obviously, a huge proponent of fitting, but of course, not everybody's going to be able to get fit. It's just the simple reality. But with SM7 with six different grinds available, it's important that players pick the right wedge to suit their game. And we wanted to go through each of the six grinds, talk a little bit about who that's going to work for, player type, swing type, course condition type. If you don't mind taking us through it, that'd be great. Be happy to. And I think it's really important to recognize, you know, these grinds all come from Bob's workout on tour. Each one of these is in play on the worldwide tours today. And each one of these was inspired by Bob working with a player to achieve certain shot types. Now you talked about fitting so well and I think the first thing any golfer should do is go figure out their loft gapping. Bob would rec recommend four to six degrees of loft separation between any of their grinds and when you go out and get gap fit it really makes grind selection much easier. Okay. And by that I mean let's say you're an AP2 player and you know that your AP2 pitching wedge is 46 degrees. Bob would say four degrees of loft separation is a really great gapping. Now you have a 50, 54 and 58 for your gapping. So let's break this down. The 50 degree wedge, it has two options of the F grind. F grind is our full sole. It's predominantly used for full swing shots and square face. And in the F grind in that 50, you're choosing between the eight degree bounce or 12. Okay. Are you steep into the golf ball or a little more shallow? If you're steep into the golf ball, take a healthy divot, go for more bounce. If you're shallow, play a little bit of less bounce. Okay. Now we go to the 54. That's where you start to introduce more grinds. We still have the F grind. It's the highest bounce offering in the 54 degree sand wedge. But we also introduced the S grind, which is very similar. It has a trailing edge ribbon. You can see the S grind here. Trailing edge ribbon narrows the sole a little bit for helping golfers get underneath the golf ball. But again, simple technique best with this wedge square face shots. If you're the player who takes to rotate that 54 open or shut a little bit, that's where you might consider the M grind. You okay. see the shaping of the M, a crescent shape here, heel, trailing edge, toe relief. And by going to this M grind, you get the ability to rotate the club face open or shut to manufacture shots. Gotcha. Each one of those is going to be different. You need to decide as a player, how do you use that wedge around the green, or is it mostly full swing? And that's when, with the 54, you're going to choose between the M, the S, or the F. Okay. And then the lob wedge, 58 degrees. There are five options in the lob wedge. That can be a little bit intimidating. But by now, we probably know, do you favor high bounce or low bounce? So you might live on one end of the spectrum or the other. The lowest end of the spectrum is the L grind. It's our lowest bounce offering. 6004L is the one I'm holding here. It has a very narrow crescent shape. Now what that narrow crescent shape does is, is it allows for extreme versatility. It's probably the most versatile wedge in our lineup. However, with that versatility and narrow sole, it is probably the least forgiving off of soft turf or in the bunker. Okay. So you need to be shallow with this club and probably play in some pretty firm conditions for this one to work for you. Gotcha. We also offer the M grind, which I talked about, that crescent shape, and the S grind, which I talked about. Those are also available in our lob wedges. And then there's two high bounce lob wedges that are available only in the lob wedge 58 and 60. The D grind, which you're holding there, that's the new grind in the lineup. We call that one the player's high bounce wedge. And the reason is, it has the shaping of the M grind for versatility, but a lot of measured bounce. So for players that are steep into the golf ball, take a healthy divot, but they still think the M grind is right for them, that's where the D grind fills a need. Now for players who are steep but need extreme forgiveness or really some help out of the bunker, that's where you'd go into this K grind. The K grind is the highest bounce wedge in the lineup. It has a big wide sole, but with camber, it is the most forgiving wedge in the lineup and the ultimate bunker club. And I hit a few balls. You immediately saw how shallow I was. You handed me the L grind, low bounce. Results were great. So it's important. It's really important. There's no question. I think one thing folks look at some of these grinds and they'd look at the D grind and the M grind and they'd say, well, they kind of look the same. I'll bet they perform the same. Feeling is believing. And it's so important these grinds matter. It's why every one of them is in play on tour because there are different swing types out there. They need to hit different shots. So every golfer needs to decide where they need some help. And I think if you're self-selecting wedges, the first thing you gotta ask yourself is, where do I need to improve? If I need to improve in the bunker, let's go get a wedge that's better out of the bunker like the K grind. 
if I really struggle on firm conditions because the club bounces up into the golf ball, well, maybe I go a little bit less bounce. So you've got to ask yourself, where do I have a strength? Where do I struggle? And then make sure the grinds help solve some of those problems because it really matters and people can really feel it when they go through the process. That's great information. And for our users at home, you know, if you're not going to have the chance to go through a Titleist wedge fitting or come into second swing and get fit, but you can listen to what Jeremy has to say, realize that you've probably got the wrong wedges for your game and where you play. You can send us your old wedges. We'll get you into a wedge that'll fit you better, help you shoot better scores in 2018. Jeremy, we appreciate it. Absolutely, thanks Chris. Thanks.